Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this peplum sweater. Today I'm making this sweater in a size extra small. The full ribbon pattern from sizes extra small to two extra large is available for free on my blog. The link is in the bio. You will need Aran worsted weight or 10 ply yarn. Today I'm using Droops Air in the color light green gray. A five millimeter crochet hook, some safety pins or stitch markers, scissors and a darning needle. To begin, create a slip knot, and you can do this any way you like. Insert your hook into the loop, and now we're going to chain 56. To chain, you're going to yarn over, and then pull through. Repeat this until you have 56 chains. Once you have 56 chains, make sure that your chains aren't twisted and you're going to slip stitch into the first chain. Now you've created a ring. And to start each round, I'm going to show you two different options. So option one is to chain three. So you're just going to yarn over and pull through three times. I would recommend this if you're a beginner. We're now going to double crochet in each stitch in the round. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. So double crochet in each stitch along the round. The second way to start your round is with a no turning chain. I love this method because it makes a seam a lot less noticeable. So to start off, pull up a loop roughly the height of your double crochet. Hold onto the top of your loop and yarn over your loop. Yarn over again and then pull through two. You should have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. There you've created a no turning chain. And then you follow the pattern as per normal, so double crochet into every stitch along the round. Once you're at the end of the round, slip stitch into your first stitch or into your third chain. To begin round 2, chain 3 or do a no turning chain. And then you're going to double crochet into the next 8 stitches. Once you've done 8 double crochets and you should have 9 stitches in total because the first turning chain or the chain 3 counts as a stitch you're going to place two double crochets into the next stitch. And here you can see that the two double crochets create a V shape. Double crochet into the next five stitches and then place two double crochets into the same stitch. Here we've done our five double crochets. And then we're going to place two double crochets into the same stitch. And you're going to repeat five double crochets and then two double crochets into the same stitch two more times. So far, this is what your sweater should look like. Double crochet into the next nine stitches. So you can see that we have nine stitches from the last V. And now we're going to place two double crochet into the same stitch.
Now we're going to repeat the pattern of five double crochet and then two double crochet into the same stitch three more times. At the end of the round, you should have eight Vs in total. And then you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. To begin round three, chain three or do a no turning chain. We're now going to double crochet in every stitch until you reach the V. As you can see, we're now at the V, and so we're going to double crochet into the first stitch of the V, and then place two double crochets into the second stitch of the V. To check that you have the right stitch count, make sure that the Vs are stacked nicely on top of each other. And you're just going to repeat this process all the way until the end of the round. So double crochet in every stitch of the round until you reach the V. Double crochet into the first stitch of the V and then place two double crochets into the second stitch of the V. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. And you're just going to repeat the process of double crocheting into every stitch until the V, placing one double crochet in the first stitch of the V, and then two double crochets into the second stitch of the V, until the end of round 10, or the corresponding round that the pattern tells you for your size. Once you've finished increasing, you should have a round donut shape. And now to start round 16, we're going to chain 3 or do a no turning chain. And you're going to double crochet into every stitch along the round. And you're going to repeat this round 3 times or as many times as the pattern tells you for your size. Once you've repeated this round the set number of times, you're going to do this round one more time, but insert stitch markers along the way. For size extra small, your stitch markers should go into stitches 22, 60, 86 and 124. Once you're at the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. Fasten off. Fold your top in half and lay your stitch markers directly on top of each other. Insert your hook a few stitches to the right of the stitch marker closest to the seam. Secure your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain 3 or do a no turning chain. We're going to double crochet into every stitch until the stitch marker. We're going to place one double crochet into the stitch with the stitch marker. Turn your work and then double crochet into the next stitch with the stitch marker. And then you're going to double crochet into every stitch until the next stitch marker. Double crochet into the next stitch marker. Turn your work and then double crochet into the next stitch marker.
double crochet in every stitch until the end of the round. Once you're at the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. To start the next round, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. And we're just going to double crochet into every stitch along this round. At the end of this round, you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. And you're going to repeat this round as many times as the pattern tells you to. So for size extra small, you're going to repeat this round 9 more times. Once you've finished the body portion of your sweater, you're going to start your peplum with a no turning chain or a chain 3. Double crochet into the next 2 stitches and then place 2 double crochets into the same stitch. You're going to repeat this pattern of double crochet into the next 2 stitches and then place 2 double crochet into the same stitch until the end of the round. At the end of your first peplum round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain and you can see that the hem is starting to ruffle. To start peplum round 2, chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet into the next 3 stitches and then place 2 double crochet into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern all the way along the round. Don't worry if your pattern doesn't fit perfectly, in my last 2 stitches I placed 1 double crochet in each. At the end of the round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. To start peplum round 3, either chain 3 or do your no turning chain stitch. Double crochet into every stitch along the round. Slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. Repeat round 3 for as many times as the pattern calls for. For size extra small, I repeated this round 5 more times. Once you've finished the correct number of rounds, slip stitch into the first stitch and then fasten off. And we're now going to move on to the sleeves. To begin, insert your hook along the bottom of the sleeve, fasten your yarn and pull through a loop. Chain 3 or do a no turning chain stitch. Double crochet in each stitch along this round. At the end of this round, slip stitch into the first stitch or the third chain. Repeat this round as many times as the pattern calls for. For size extra small, I repeated this round until round 25. Now we can move on to the sleeves ribbing. To start off, chain 11. Rotate your work and now we're going to be single crocheting down towards the sleeve. Single crochet in the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the next 9 chains. In total you should have 10 single crochets.
Once you've finished your row of single crochets, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch which is empty. And then slip stitch into the next stitch. Turn your row of single crochets. You're going to skip the first two slip stitches and then you're going to single crochet into the back loops of the 10 single crochets. So you insert your hook into the stitch and you only pick up the back loop and then single crochet. And that first single crochet should be on top of the last single crochet of the first row. Double check that you have 10 single crochets. To start row 3, chain 1 and turn. Single crochet into the back loop of the first stitch. Single crochet into the back loops of the next 9 stitches. Slip stitch into the next empty stitch along the sleeve and then slip stitch into the next stitch. And then you're just going to repeat this process. Turn your work, skip the first two slip stitches and then single crochet into the back loops of the next 10 stitches. At the end of the row, chain one and turn. You're then going to single crochet into the back loops of the next 10 stitches. You're going to slip stitch into the first empty stitch along the sleeve, slip stitch into the next stitch and then repeat. You should have the same number of rows of single crochet as the number of stitches around the cuff of your sleeve. I have 32 stitches around the cuff of my sleeve. Here I'm finishing my 32nd row of single crochet.
Once you have the appropriate number of rows, fasten off and leave a long tail of yarn to sew the edges together. Thread your darning needle and then sew your two edges together. I like to use a mattress stitch. Once you're finished, weave in all of your ends and then repeat for the other side. You've finished your peplum sweater. 